Welcome to IFX. Let's talk about the IFX scalping dashboard and how it can better your trading. The dashboard is going to tell you all you need to know before entering a trade and to gain profits. You can add all pairs you want to the dashboard as long as you have them active on the market watch. It works with cryptos, metals, indices, and stocks. Add the pairs, change text alert, and change dashboard height and width. You have the ability to show or hide certain columns so you only see what's most important to you. You can also change the settings to control how many candles are needed to form engulfing candles and get fractal breakouts. The RSI settings can be customized to your preferences in terms of time frame, period, and overextended levels. For example, I have mine set to 1 hour with 60 and 40 levels. You can also enable or disable alerts on all the columns if you want. The signal settings are important, if you want more alerts, use 34, for normal alerts, use 60, and for fewer alerts, use 100 or 154. These numbers are based on market highs and lows. Let's talk about something more exciting. You will have alerts for M1 to M15, but for now, I will focus only on the M15 columns. The rest of the columns in the dashboard will contain information that will help you determine whether or not it's worth looking at the charts. Like yesterday's high and low, the average daily range ADR, the relative strength index, RSI, and more. Let's begin with the M15 engulfing column alert. What is an engulfing candle? An engulfing candle is a type of two-candle reversal pattern. The pattern consists of a small candle, followed by a large candle that completely engulfs the small candle. Here is the benefit of the engulfing candle pattern. Engulfing candles can provide early warning signs of a potential trend reversal, as the pattern often marks a clear change in sentiment. Knowing this, you can enter outrates or adjust an existing positions in anticipation of a change in direction. This can help you to manage risk and maximize profits. If you see a bullish engulfing alert, this is a good sign to look for buying opportunities. The best time to look for this is when the price is close to yesterday's low. If you see a bearish engulfing alert, this is a good sign to look for selling opportunities. The best time to look for this is when the price is close to yesterday's high. On the dashboard, you can change the settings to display a two-candle engulfing pattern. I have it set to four candles engulfing, just in case I get an alert that's worth looking into, but the two-candle pattern is best. Remember, just because you get an engulfing alert, it does not mean it's a valid entry. You must analyze the chart and use one of the strategies you have learned in the course. Here is an example of bearish engulfing pattern entry. It hit yesterday's high, and it was below RSI 60 level. Let's talk about the signal column alert. What is a bearish signal? When the highest candle in a chart ends in a bearish candle, it can suggest that bears, sellers, are in control of the market. This can be a bearish reversal signal if it appears after an uptrend. You could either look to enter or exit the market. What is a bullish signal? When the lowest candle in a chart ends in a bullish candle, it can suggest that bulls, buyers, are in control of the market. This can be a bullish reversal signal if it appears after a downtrend. You could either look to enter or exit the market. This is a great price action alert to have in your toolkit. I wait for an engulfing alert to confirm the entry when I get this signal alert. Before entering the market, it is essential that you have a strategy in place so you can make better informed decisions. A signal alert by itself is not enough to base your entry on. Let's move to the fractal alert column. What is a fractal? Fractals can be used to identify potential support and resistance levels and to generate trade signals. What is a fractal breakout? A fractal breakout occurs when the price breaks above or below the high or low of the fractal pattern. There is a nice fractal breakout strategy using the RSI. I go over more in detail in the mastermind. When I'm looking for breakouts, I prefer to find ones that are closer to yesterday's high and low. I also make sure that the breakouts didn't take too many candles to break, the less, the better. I count the candles starting from the candle with the number 3 on top or bottom. Let's discuss the three columns that will help us identify which pairs we should pay closer attention to. These are, yesterday's high and low, and the ADR, average daily range. When you see a pair and highlight it on those columns, that means you should go and analyze that pair. That way, when you get an alert, 
like an engulfing, signal, or fractal breakout, you'll know what's going on beforehand. Remember, we want to look for entries on those pairs where price has already hit those levels. We'll finish up with the last two columns, mid-level and RSI. These columns indicate that you should be cautious when they're highlighted in color. If the current mid-level is above yesterday's high could be a sign of an uptrend, as it suggests that the price is consistently rising over time. So, be very careful looking for sell entries when the column is highlighted showing above. If the current mid-level is below yesterday's low could be a sign of a downtrend, as it suggests that the price is consistently declining over time. So, be very careful looking for buy entries when the column is highlighted showing below. The RSI column is one that I always keep an eye on. I view the RSI slightly differently than most people. When I notice that it's overextended past the 60 and 40 levels, I see it as a sign that the price might continue to go up or down. So, it's always best to wait until the RSI is back inside those levels before making any decisions. Choose to see the M15 or 1 hour RSI to help you know when the RSI is outside the levels. You may only want to trade when the RSI is in the gray area. You can choose to trade on any of the three time frames, M1, M5, and M15. Just remember that the lower the time frame, the riskier the trades are. I personally like M15 a lot because it has a better entry edge. Okay, now go take some entries following the IFX scalping dashboard. If you're enjoying this video so far, show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. And be sure to share it with your friends.